Good evening, paleo friends. This is Dan and Rachel and Allie from Primal for Life. And we're trying out another new cookbook that we got from julianbakery.com. And it's called Primal Cravings, Your Favorite Foods Made Paleo. So um, this involves, um, or contains, sorry, over 125 grain-free, gluten-free, dairy-optional, nutrient-dense, primal paleo-approved recipes. So um, today we're making a gyro taco salad and tzatziki guacamole. Um, so I prepped everything here. We're going to get going. Um, it says to do it on romaine lettuce. Uh, Dan and I are going to go with the Napa cabbage. So mm -hmm. I've already washed and shredded our Napa cabbage here. And we're going to get my rolling. Dad's bowl. That's your dad's bowl. That's right. That he's eating at him. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna get rolling on the how to make the taco salad. Um, and you know, traditionally a gyro is made out of lamb meat. We were not able to uh, locate any ground lamb at our local store that was organic or grass fed. So we are doing it um, inside with some ground turkey. That I'm eating. Yes, that you're gonna eat. You're gonna love it. So we're gonna get our pan going here. These recipes look delicious. <sighs> And uh, while she's cooking up, I'm going to show you some of these recipes. We got double chocolate espresso cookies. Uh, we have some pizza bites, Woo! mustard roasted asparagus. So, Allie, I know. make people want to try these recipes. Don't steer them away. Because. Sloppy Joe meatballs. Now I know you like those. Yeah. Oh yeah. My <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> Buffalo chicken salad. There's a ton and ton of recipes. Remember, we're on page 86 for future reference. Daddy, do you uh, want to show them all the other ones? Smoked salmon hash. Uh, we got desserts in here. Cherry almond streusel muffins. That sounds good. Um, what's also nice is they explain how they became paleo. Uh, I talk is about the new CrossFit. Book. This is the newest book that we got in our nice little arsenal of paleo cookbooks. Mm -hmm. um, he talks about kind of like an umbrella as an analogy for um, setting up your primal paleo way. So you start off with you know eating nutrient dense whole foods and then eliminating I grains, fix that with a pencil. and then uh, you know minimizing sugar, and then once you got all the uh, they call it ribs for the um, umbrella, kind of like the framework. You got the fabric, which is the meat and the eggs, the veggies, the nuts and approved fats, fruits, dairy, you know, things like that. And then you have your umbrella, and by that time, you are eating properly. Um, and overall, they, they have other things like uh, the fat on dairy. I was going to say the skinny on fat, but kind of similar about dairy. So, uh, yeah, lots of good stuff in the book. Uh, even how to prep your kitchen. Uh, stuff about sugars, fats, and oils, what to buy, and uh, here's your tools and equipment for the kitchen, stocking the kitchen, and uh, and these I have to try, hazelnut coffee pancakes, yum. So uh, that's about it. So uh, we are cooking up the turkey. We have these items right here. We're not going to have those go yet. So yet. we're cooking up the turkey meat. Um, when it's halfway cooked, we're going to add our onion and our garlic to finish cooking. So, saute this up a little bit. This is a really simple recipe. Um, it's only a couple steps. After this, you just have to make some guacamole to go on top of it. And, and you got yourself a nice, simple, quick, easy uh, dinner recipe. So, I'm going to add our onions now. I already chopped them. And we're also cutting this recipe in half, so if you get the cookbook and feel like uh, it made it way too much food, there's only three of us, so um, instead of doing two pounds of the ground meat, we're only doing one. And uh, obviously then you cut all your other ingredients in half as well. So we've got our garlic in there. I mean our onions, sorry. Onions. Garlic is going in. Yeah. We like a lot of garlic, so it calls for two cloves, um, and I did the pre-minced, which is, we buy organic, we're lucky enough to find it. And we're going to continue to cook this. 
Um, and because we were using ground turkey, um, I did put a little bit of olive oil just drizzled onto the bottom of the pan so it doesn't stick. I, lamb, I'm sure, has a little bit more fat content, so you don't probably need to use that. But I just wanted to let everyone know, in case you saw me throw the turkey in there, that there was some fat on the bottom of the pan. So we're going to continue to cook this up. And then add the remaining of our, of our ingredients, which is uh, coriander, thyme, oregano, some lemon juice, and some chicken broth. And then you're going to let that simmer for about five minutes until the stock has been reduced. And we'll, then we'll uh, show you how to make the guacamole, the tzatziki <laughs> guacamole. Okay, now that our turkey's finished cooking and our onions are starting to soften, we're going to add the rest of the ingredients. So we have a half a teaspoon of oregano, half a teaspoon of thyme, half a teaspoon of ground coriander. And these are all half sizes? Yes, I'm given the half portions. Half a tablespoon of lemon juice and a quarter cup of chicken broth. Then we're gonna stir this all up. You need a mess again. I know, I'm getting really bad about cooking lately. <laughs> and then we're gonna let this simmer for about five minutes until all that juice is absorbed. So I'm gonna make sure I get that coriander mixed in there. Okay, move that cook down and then we're going to go over here to our food processor and show you how to make that tzatziki guacamole. So um, the first step is that you have to grate English cucumbers. So um, what I did was I actually used our food processor to grate it first and then we have it in here to kind of drain out the extra juices from um, the cucumbers when you um, grate them. So that's going to actually get pour, uh, mixed in afterwards. So right now what we have going in our food processor is, again, I'm, I'm having everything. So it's one avocado, um, a half a tablespoon fresh mint, which I've diced, um, a half a tablespoon of fresh dill, and then a half a tablespoon of uh, lemon juice. And we need to add some salt in there um, as well. So we're going to, as always, be using the Himalayan crystal salt from Sun Food Superfoods, which is another product we get from Julian Bakery. So I'm just going to add like a pinch in there. And we're going to put this, the top on then, and uh, process it up till smooth. And then when that's done, we're going to... Um, add in the cucumber. Actually, it says to add it now, which I'm surprised. So I apologize for that little mix-up there in the recipe. I thought it was added after the fact. I knew it. I was just testing you. Yeah. So we got our cucumbers in there as well. Put our lid on here. And we're going to get that pure. All right. So we got that done. And we'll be back. Check on our meat. See if it's uh, evaporated all that liquid there. Almost. Give it a few more minutes. Get those spices infused in the juice of the chicken broth soaked. And then we'll be back to plate and show you the final product. Okay, so our turkey meat's all done, spice is all incorporated. I'm going to start spooning this over our Napa cabbage. And then I'm going to take some of that tzatziki. I'm having a hard time with that word today. It's because you're not Greek. Exactly. Tzatziki. You're not Greek either. But I have Greek friends. Guacamole on top of there. Give Dan a little bit more. And then I've also chopped up some uh, tomatoes. Get some little more veggies in there. And there you have it. Wonderful. So again, the recipe is from our new cookbook from JulianBakery.com. 
And it is the... Do you want to model it, Allie? You want to model Be it? Be Vanna White. There it is. The Primal, Primal Cravings. Cravings. Your favorite foods, May Paleo. And you can get this through juliabakery.com slash paleo. GMO free. The book is GMO free, and I bet every meal in here is GMO free as well, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. So check them out. It's a whole bunch of cookbooks, but this is the latest and greatest. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. All right? This is Dan, Rach, and Allie from Primal for Life. Have a good day.